everybody welcome back so in my last video you would have seen that we took a trip to ikea and we also went to b&q to get a bunch of loft boards loft stilts just like kind of boring stuff to be honest so we've got all the stuff here and today we're gonna board our loft who knows how well it's gonna go we've got jasper here it's gonna go perfect we that? okay we'll see um but for like the last obviously two years like it actually blows my mind that we will be in this house in two years in march like why has the time gone but anyway but also it feels like we haven't like i can't remember not living here like it's so strange just woken up and i've just had a quick shower and shoved on some clothes um my skin is having a bit of like a moment at the moment i have no idea what's going on uh, it's just not the happiest um so i'm just letting it breathe i mean i might put some makeup on if we go out anywhere but for now, you're just gonna have to look at this. It's not terrible or anything, but I think it's just like hormonal sports, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna try and help Jasper as much as I can with the loft stuff. Like he's definitely in charge of this project because I just don't really know what I'm doing. But anyway, so I'm just gonna be his assistant today, help him out as I can. Um, I'm also probably gonna do some tidying and stuff around the house, just making him cups of coffee as well. So yeah, here he comes. He's even got his work trousers on. <laughs> oh, are you feeling ready? Oh, I'm born ready. <laughs> right, we are going up in the loft. Well, I'm not, Jasper is. But how happy are you are, fresh, fresh ladder. It's all right. <laughs> it's not the best. I love that you got your like your work trousers on, just ready to go. Yeah, obviously. I really don't like it up here. It's just so like weird. Oh, what's up here? Make sure you're treading on the the beams. Oh, you know if I ain't, cause I'll be I'll be in the bedroom. <laughs> the loft this is the current progress that just been making so this is what you have to do with like our type of house and like new builds is put these because you can't compress the insulation is that right jasper so that is what we're putting in at the moment well done jasper making good progress i just can't get over how big our loft is i mean it is the size obviously we've just piled up all the insulation over there but it is the size of the house so it is a big space actually so guys this is currently what's going on i'll pass you jasper so you can show you a little bit better <sighs> Well, I've just, you can't really see that well that way, but just spaced all these out, the right space in to then be able to lay the boards and screw the boards into the still. It's like, I can't remember what it was exactly, but about 30 centimetres apart. You, it's just like the size of the board, isn't it? So we've got the boards from being cured, obviously, as you saw. Made that up to save me measuring every time. Put that in between, make a mark, screw it down. Smart, I it's, like it. It's gonna, well, it's gonna go right, well, two, okay two more joists over that way from here so yeah i don't really have a clue what's going on but just seems to have it all in control but you just watched some youtube videos didn't you yeah just watched, there was only one video that was really informative i'll try and remember to link it in the description box if any of you guys have new builds and want to do this i just quickly um, watched it but the, their measurements weren't right for the size of board so i had to do that a bit myself but okay but yeah anyway if yeah overall it didn't cost us like too much money i think it was like probably just over a hundred pound for like everything yeah we bought a ladder oh, yeah, as well yeah, you're right. probably so it's probably about a hundred well, you just need to buy one more pack of boards so it'd probably be about a hundred quid yeah about a hundred pounds so to be fair like it would be quite a big space so just doing it yourself um it shouldn't be too expensive because i know like you can get like companies in to do it and they do obviously like a proper job but to be fair like it's, it's not too hard now you understand it is it so you just need your own tools yeah, knee drone tools. But anyway, I'm going back downstairs. I'll leave Jasper to it. But let me know if you need anything, Jasper. So Jasper's pretty much put all the stilts in. Finito. So all we need to do now. What's your job? What? Sort the insulation out. Oh, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> you gonna do that now? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Right, we've made some progress. Well, Jasper's made some progress. I say we, but I've just been assistant anyway. Let's go up here. So I've just passed Jasper all of the loft boards, um, and he's currently just sorting it out. So he's laid back down all the insulation, so you can kind of see the little um, stilts now. The kind of just above the insulation, which is how it's meant to be. And now he's just laying down the boards. I just can't go over how big our loft is. Can't see that side, but I suppose it is the size of the house, but it is massive. It is quite big, isn't it? Yeah. So we've just hopped in the car because we're going to go to being cute and get some more loft boards. Um, we need three more, so we ended up using 12. 12? Is that? Or 12 boards. All together, yeah. No. No? Yeah. yeah, sorry, 12. 12, yeah. We've only got nine. Yeah, so we've only got nine, so we need to pick up another three. And then that should finish it all off. So it's taking you about three hours, did you say? Just yeah. over three hours? From start to finish. Yeah, so not too bad to be fair. You tired? Yeah, a bit tired. Sweaty. Yeah. Need shower. Yeah, I do. Itchy. Yeah. But you did good though. Yeah. So we are back from being cute and these are the loft boards that we've got. I've just got another pack of three and that should finish off the loft. So happy about that. Good job done. Yeah. And then the other thing that we picked up is a little paint sample for our office room. Now I've got kind of like a dark like blue and I just got a little sample of it made up in B&Q because I really like the look of that colour. So I have been debating whether I want to go for like a dark colour in our office room or like a lighter like beige or like a grey or something. But I just keep going back to these like dark blues. So we bought a little sample for this cost like £3 um, just to see what it looks like. So we're going to paint a little bit in the office and see what that turns out like whether we actually like it or not. Or if it's too dark because the thing is like i feel like it's going to be nice because i'm just going to have one feature wall of, like a dark color with loads of, like prints and stuff on it that's what i'm thinking so we shall see i've made it up into the loft we've got the boards on the lighting is shocking in here we just kind of like boarded this area like there's so much more we could board but to be honest i don't think we need much more space than this at the moment um so yeah this is what it's currently looking like up there it's so like, don't you just find it a bit like creepy up, up here in the loft? <laughs> so it's a lot later on, I've just had a shower, um, so I feel a little bit fresher now, which is good. Um, but I ended up popping to Asda, I just picked up a bunch of like weekly shopping stuff. Um, one of my favourite things at the moment has to be these. Well, two things actually, I love these corn southern fried chicken burgers, they're absolutely unreal. And then I also love these veggie dipper finger things. They're really nice. I also really like these, which are refrigerators, unbelievable, and Alpro chocolate milk. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you my little highlights, my weekly shop, but I did manage to pop to Asda. We have finished, as you probably mainly saw, we did finish the loft, so we kind of just boarded like a big section of it, like not the whole thing. Um, you can also get these kind of like shelves that go between... I don't know what they're called, I have to ask Jasper, but they look, can like hang, um, so you can get more storage. It's all very confusing stuff. So yeah, there's more things that we can do up there, but we haven't actually put anything up there yet. We're gonna hopefully put up the Christmas tree and everything like that. So when we do that, we will sort out the loft as well. So I'm gonna chill out for a bit. I feel really tired, like I feel like I look a little bit weird. I'm very conscious of my skin at the moment as well and I just, I'm just not feeling 100% but we all go through times like this so I'm gonna make sure I'm drinking enough water and chill out for a bit and then we shall make some dinner. So for dinner today we have pasta salad bowls. Um, I literally feel like I had this in my last video as well. It is my favourite so that is what we're having. We've currently got some washing on that was what the noise is but yeah that's what we're having for dinner. Good morning everybody. So today me and Jasper we're kind of running a little bit late. We're going on a little date day thing so we're going to get some food and cocktails. This is my outfit. I'm just wearing these jeans with this like little polar, what do you call it, polar neck top. Um, so that is what we're wearing. We're going to go get a couple of drinks and some food. So I will bring you guys along with me. My mum is just about to pick us up to drop us down. So we're running a little bit late, but I will catch up with you guys when we're there.
I've got this like little test tube one. <laughs> so cute in it though, we're the only ones in it. So turns out I didn't actually film as much as I would have liked to on the date evening day thing. Um, we had such a nice time though. We went to Prezzo's and had some dinner well lunch slash dinner it was kind of like three four o'clock so it's kind of like early evening that we actually went and the cocktails were unreal whenever we go to that place i always get like this kiwi cocktail so good like it's actually unreal and jasper always gets this mango margarita with jalapenos in it isn't it yeah and it's bang isn't it yeah so, so good so we are currently in the kitchen cooking up are uh, kind of like we have like two go-to dinners and if, if you've been watching all my previous vlogs you probably would have seen it on my previous vlogs we've been having stir fry and pasta salad bowls like that is all we are having like we go through phases at one time we always used to have this chicken sausage risotto we used to have it probably about twice a week like it was so good and we just go through stages where we just like literally rotate meals like it, i was just saying at the moment it's pasta salad bowls or stir fry yeah that's like our go-to like for ages we were doing chicken rice and veg don't really do that we as much that no we haven't had that in ages so we're currently cooking up stir fry anyway this is what's going on just stir frying the veggies and then we're going to add in some chicken and add this black bean sauce i love this so good and then some egg noodles this is just a little like stir fry mix you can get from asda for two pound fifty so yeah, that is what we're gonna put into it. I feel like I look very tired this evening, but I wanted to quickly show you our wall in our office room. The office is so messy at the moment, but this is the sort of color that we're going for and I'm not sure, so I need your opinion. I'm not sure the camera picks up like the blue, don't know if it picks it up like the true colour, but it is very dark so we just painted like the tiniest part. But in our office room, we're thinking of doing this whole wall blue and then having the rest of the office just like white. So I don't know how it's going to look, but I just, I don't know, I just love this colour. I just absolutely love it. I feel like i just got to do it. And then if I don't like it, I have to paint over it. <laughs> to be fair, this is Vespa paint. I feel like that's how you say it anyway. It's the like B&Q. They have like a B&Q like Vespa mixing station. I don't know, I swear it used to be Dulux that they used to have. But anyway, I feel like I just got to go for it. Because I feel like if I don't do it, I'll regret not doing it. Because I'll be thinking about it. Um, so we use that, but to be fair, like I think the pot of paint will only cost us like 30 or 40 pound. Don't know if that's like too ambitious to do it for that price. Like, I don't know how many like coats it's going to take because it is quite dark, so I feel like two coats, but we'll see. But what do you think, Jasper? Do you think we should go for the blue in the office room? I think we should oh, just no, do it. I've lost all motivation from paint on the wall. Have you? <laughs> This is our dinner served. I would definitely recommend having stir fry for dinner because it's so quick and easy and just tastes so good, especially when you already buy the sauce. I mean, if you made your own sauce, it'd probably take a little bit longer, but. So that is the last thing I filmed for today's video. It is a little bit shorter, so I do apologize because I know a lot of you guys do like the long vlogs. The next video is gonna be us putting up our Christmas decorations. So I'm really excited about that video because it's just so much fun like decorating the house, I absolutely love it. So yeah, make sure you look out for that. And other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.